that genius that he had of somehow knowing unerringly, you know, what he could write, what the audience would embrace, and his sort of genius for, for uh, constantly rewarding the audience for venturing into the uncomfortable territory, rewarding them you know, in a very unpretentious way, rewarding them with laughs, rewarding them with lumps in their throat, with all of the just sort of basic audience uh, rewards. Uh, that's, that's what he does. That's what those plays always do. You know, they take you somewhere where you don't want to go at first, and then they reward you by just making something so entertaining and wonderful happen. And my God, you know, when I was in San Francisco doing it all day, you take the audience through that loop again and again and again over a period of hours, you know, uh, and each time then allowing them greater and greater embrace of a larger and larger imagine, uh, imaginative landscape. By the end of eight hours, it's just a kind of delirium that I just don't think, you know, can be produced by almost any other piece of writing that I've ever encountered. And as wonderful as the movie is, that thing in the theater that happens that I just described is, is unique because it's socially, it's just all felt in the room by everyone, the performers and the audience together. And, you know, that's one of the things. The play also does all these other things that are captured beautifully in the movie, maybe even captured better in a movie. But that thing, that um, this is uniquely theatrical, ultimately political thing, is, uh, you know, that was unique to the theater. And that's why it's so exciting that it's being done again, because, you know, you can always do that again. It doesn't matter if there's a movie.